This story is called Clickety Clink. An old lady got sick and died. She had no family members and no close friends. So the neighbors got a grave digger to dig a grave for her. And they had a coffin made and they placed it in her living room. As was the tradition, they washed her body and dressed her up in her best clothes and put her in the coffin. When she died, her eyes were wide open, staring at everything and seeing nothing. The neighbors found two old silver dollars on her dresser and they put them on her eyelids to keep them closed. They lit candles and sat up with her so that she would not be lonely on the first night that she was dead. The next morning, a preacher came and said a prayer for her. Then everybody went home. Later, the great digger arrived to take her to the cemetery and bury her. He stared at the silver dollars on her eyes and he picked them up. How shiny and smooth they were! How thick and heavy! They're beautiful, he thought. Just beautiful! He looked at the dead woman with her eyes wide open. He felt she was staring at him, watching him hold her coins. It gave him a creepy feeling. He put the coins back on those eyes of hers to keep them closed. But before he knew it, his hands had reached out again and grabbed the coins and stuck them in his pocket. Then he grabbed the hammer and quickly nailed shut the lid on the coffin. Now you can't see anything, he said to her. Then he took her out to the cemetery and he buried her as fast as he could. When the grave digger got home, he put the two silver dollars in the tin box and shook it. The coins made a cheerful rattling sound. But the grave digger wasn't feeling cheerful. He couldn't forget those eyes looking at him. When it got dark, a storm came up. And the wind started blowing. It blew all around the house. It came in through the cracks and around the windows and down the chimney. The fire flared and flickered. The grave digger threw some fresh wood on the fire, got into bed, and he pulled the blankets up to his chin. The wind kept blowing. The fire flared and flickered, and cast evil looking shadows on the walls. The grave digger lay there thinking about the dead woman's eyes staring at him. The wind blew stronger and louder, and the fire flared and flickered, and popped and snapped. And he got more and more scared. Suddenly, he heard another sound. Clinkity clink. Clinkity clink. It went. Clinkity clink. Clinkity clink. It was the silver dollars rattling in the tin box. Hey! The great digger shouted. Who's taking my money? But all he heard was the wind blowing. And the flames flaring and flickering and snapping and popping and the coins going clickety-clink, clickety-clink. He leaped out of bed and chained up to the door. Then he hurried back, but his head had barely touched the pillow when he heard clickety-clink, clickety-clink. Then he heard something way off in the distance. It was a voice crying. Where is my money? Who's got my money? Who? Who? And the wind blew and the fire flared and flickered and snapped and popped and the money went clickety-clink, clickety-clink. The great dinner was really scared. He got out of bed again and piled all the furniture against the door and he put a heavy iron skillet over his tin box. Then he jumped back into bed and covered his head with the blankets. But the money rattled louder than ever. Way off, a voice cried, Give me my money! Who's got my money? Who? Who? And the wind blew, and the fire flared and flickered and snapped and popped, and the grave digger shivered and shook and cried, Oh, Lordy, Lordy! Suddenly, the front door flew open, and in walked the ghost of the dead woman with her eyes wide open, staring at everything and seeing nothing. And the wind blew, and the money went clickety-clink, clickety-clink, 
And the fire flared and flickered and snapped and popped. And the ghost of the dead woman cried, Oh, where is my money? Who's got my money? Who? Who? And the grave digger moaned, Oh, lordy, lordy. The ghost could hear her money going clickety-clink, clickety-clink in the tin box. But her dead eyes couldn't see the box. So she reached down with her arms and tried to find it. The wind blew, and the money rattled, clickety-clink, clickety-clink, and the fire flared and flickered and snapped and popped, and the grave digger shivered and shook and moaned, Oh, lordy, lordy, and the woman cried, Give me my money! Who has got my money? Who, who, you've got it!